came into my life so unexpected i guess it's destiny you know you're just my type so i'll give you all my loving even if i had me a tesco i never see this love coming we don't need confirmation on our love from our horoscope say the word and i'll come running i'm on my way don't delay i'm on the light i'm on the way let them talk and say what they want to say we know that love is here to stay Take this time just to say how I feel. How I feel. Go keep it so true and keep it so real. So real. Sometimes when I think about it, so surreal. Many of times I revealed that you're so special. I saw your potential. The first time that we met, I could never forget. Yeah. All eyes on you when you walked in. I made my move. We started talking. Fast forward, here we are. You stole my heart. You're number one on my list, girl. You top the charts. Say the word, I'm right there. Cause no one else compares. And nothing else compares to the love that we share. Always by my side, body and clyde. It's a different type of bond. You're my right or die. We're living proof. That's straight facts. I reassure you so you know that.
Good evening. Whatever it is, wherever you are. This morning, we, we were sorted some of this stuff out. Well, we changed it. I hope it's better. It matches up with how it's used a little bit better. It still doesn't quite match. Like we're still kind of dummying this thing in during the import process. And then we're kind of sort of modifying it as we update things. <clears throat> I guess instead of a multi-pass process, you could do a full a full sort of recursive check. They hit something with no requirements. You'd still have to know what god that was tagged as. Could conceivably do that. <clears throat> if we and then and then the god, and then passed it all the way down to here. <laughs> That would get rid of the unknown, that would get rid of one of the rewrite passes. Don't know if it's worth it. So there's two other directions we have been thinking about going. One is, let's use a trait to have attached the layout data to the god, because we're going to take all the traits and all the layout, and we're going to pretty much do all of those together. And the other aspect is, let's see, where are you? There's Boone chart, we have chart metrics. We have connectors and we have boons, which are doing very, very similar things. Do I still have boons? Yeah, basic boons, a list of boons. Calculate duos is a list of connectors, but boons? Oh no. This, has this been, compl oh, maybe we didn't use, okay, we just didn't use that. Calculate adjacent, calculate skip one. <clears throat> These all sound like duo stuff. Where do I use you? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Jason, skip one opposite, yeah, 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 yeah. Layout duo boon. Oh, layout duo boons. Do I use you? I do use you. And you return a list boon. You return a boon. Ah. 
So we do everything up to that point, and then we get this additional information. All right, now see layout basic boons is also returning boons, but I think we're, oh yeah, so we're using a structure that we defined to do arcs to locate these things. And, and let's just look at what, how, what we're doing with edges. I think it might be being forced to the same structure. Layout duo boon. Well, I just had a shower, so my hair is still wet. That might be it. Probably not quite as poofy. Basic connectors are going to come from, yeah, from layout. And yeah, we're just totally dummying in this data. And indeed, icon point is irrelevant to most of the shapes we're doing here. So we've been abusing that structure to do these things, because that's how we drew these. We've been kind of abusing that structure for all of these lines, because they don't have any icons on them. So kind of a better data model for our graphical elements here. Now, what, we might have something similar to shape, but the shape is going to have to carry data. This, is this how? Well, shape shape already is doing a little bit of data because we have if we have if it's some kind of arc we have the center of the arc and then two endpoints. Now, one of the things that's been a constant question. Is do we actually sh or should we actually encode arcs as point to point? Like right now, I'm importing them as circle in a couple angles. <clears throat> Just my rendering system right now is set up for point for making. Is it? Is it I think it's. I think it's Bezier curves, maybe from two points in a center. You know, it's constantly the tension of should we actually go back to encoding it as something else and be doing it at the, at the last minute. And it's kind of what we ended, where we ended up for connection type. Well, no, that's, that's its line point point. Or art, okay, you actually did encode this as center radius angle angle. Now it's a bit of math to get to the point to point form. That's what we're going to do calculation. That's a whole different thing. This is the bit of math. <clears throat> okay, then cubic curve was the extension that I added to the collage library. <clears throat> Although it kind of comes down to these points. 
So maybe if I have a graphic element, I would sort of like want to cache the curve. Because that way I wouldn't have to do any of this math on every pass. Because this, even this is point to point and center. So if that's going to have, <clears throat> so here we have lines, we have arcs. Now I'm actually calculating the arcs as, those arcs as point to point. I mean, I could surely go the other way. It just seem, might seem a little bit silly to calculate the points, turn them into angles, and then turn them back into points. Oh, I guess I could store the angles, go ahead and make the curve parameters and store those if that's in fact how it how it's how it's going. And I could generate the dual boons as an icon and a line, which is similar to these things, the icons and lines are going to be separate things. I think I kind of wanted them to, oh, I kind of wanted them together because these are eventually going to require some kind of special rendering, maybe like dashing, so like this would be like red and purple. And then if one, one side had met its prerequisites, so you have purple purple only, or red only, or red and purple when, when both sides are active, or met their requirements, and then, and then this becomes available. So there's, there is some association between those things. Now I might eventually have it where lines know their prerequisites and calculate them the same way as icons. Now it would just be a case of giving both of these the same set of prerequisites. <clears throat> So in the world of the graph, well, these things associate directly with traits, but they're they're a graphical element. <clears throat> so rather than a point, maybe you'd have your trait or an icon. Would I would I put in full trait information in there? Icon, ID, name. You need the requirements to draw it highlighted. And if I was keeping requirements and things, then I go rewrite this with, F we just pass it the requirements instead of the trade ID that would give you those requirements. <clears throat>
Let's see, so connector. Do we only use that? Calculate duo as an intermediate thing. Actually, yeah, that's just, we're not keeping around this information yet. Which means we could conceivably back off to that if it's not, it doesn't have the embedded icon. Although I think I'm, right now I'm using this structure to draw those icons, so we'd have to do a separate step. Well, and we would have to assign, we would have to assign the location to the uh, boon icons. So we've got a point, a point. Well, this is the connector shape. We've got an AB. An AB is gonna be, well, even a connector has an icon point, which is, would be not so good if we were doing other things. Not so useful. a system more like what layout has where it's like line arc with parameters I guess we'd have to do the icons for that so what am I <clears throat> am I no it is let's do all boons layout basic boons Yet. Just all the points the same. We just kind of ignore some fields on there. Uh, see so the end A, so if it's a line, that would be A, that would be A and B. Arc would have its own parameters. If it was an see, so these are our so yes, yeah, so these would all turn into point. Would or um, the, the only point would basically be the trade icon. So maybe I should ch change that, and then that has name icon ID. Actually, what are you left with then? It's just the shape. Hmm. Now, I might be able to transform these item by item, but we want to head towards... So we use arc and split arc to simplify. We are only set up to draw two sub arcs if things need to be divided. Although, I guess since I did this with the, the splines, I could probably just run those all together. Although, I'd had, I'm not sure how the splines work if you just continue doing points. Because that's like a point and two control points. It's like if you continue doing it, is it you add three? If we had to do longer arcs, I guess you could re-engineer. Let's see. Well, right now I'm actually directly doing that cubic curve, aren't I? Hmm. <laughs> so we've kind of got that little problem. 
So line is the easy case. I guess we probably already have something called trait. We already have something called boon. <laughs> oh, this thing is boon, so. Yeah, so that may, might become available later. Maybe it's an icon for now. Now you, there's actually a, a number of fields here. So this parameterized format starts to get a little awkward. Oh, and we've already got line here, so. You've also got a A naming problem if we try to do this in parallel. And what were you? Oh, I actually did do a, a structure for you. And we have exposed all, so technically we can use that, although I'm not sure. What were we, what were we really using from here? Layout, placement, you have your connection, you have your archetype. What are we really using from you? Okay, so layout itself. Uh, 20, uh, oh no, layout. We also have collage.layout. Layout basic connectors. Okay, so a couple of things have to pass that around. Okay. Get placement. We're not going to need to do that very often. <laughs> and that was it. Now I guess another possibility is we sort of, maybe we do start bending this towards being a, a general purpose tool. Or do we actually treat icon placements as a completely separate thing from connector placements? What's a layout? Okay, a layout has trade ID point. So it does have the idea that these are separate from these. So that might be another good thing to think about. And what we have is this little sort of accidental thing that the process of laying these things out calculates both, in effect. Which is why they ended up together. Which maybe that gives us room <clears throat> to kind of keep this around where we remove that stuff. And then that's just your boon placements.
Yeah, so basics are boons right now. We might want to get off of that. Well, no, the boons would still be there. But th that was also containing all of our lines. So we could move lines off, remove those fields. So you're laying this out. We go, well, you, you, this calculates the connector. And the connector, this process gives you an icon point. I mean, that's where we would have to return both. Along with some, well, this is only going to return arcs, but <clears throat> I guess you could just return the arc parameters. So layout duo boon is a map through layout duo boons, which is top level. How much do we actually reuse here? Or how much is actually in common? Okay, well, it sh we should never get there because it's a duo boon. But we wanted to get the god information out. So we have to unpack it from there. Hmm. We have actually pulled duo boons out of being in the same collection. Now, it's been kind of nice. To have them be the same structure because <clears throat> that means you can use the same functions for everything. But I guess you could have a duo trait that was like Okay, and here is the two gods that we that we use. Huh. Now if I did assign this in the decoder, we wouldn't need that for there. The one place we would might need it is here. But we've also got a god here. That's the default assignment. If there's no requirements, we send it to that god. If there was requirements, that would bias this process. But we know the duo boons are only associated with one of the two gods that are actually relevant. So that might be a way to get rid of unknown boon. So that seemed like some extra work, but getting rid of that kind of useless type would be a win. So what does that do for you? Right, so it's a record, it has to get wrapped in a type. Uh, da, 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 it's the god data. Oh right, we we need to we need to parse out this.
which at that point maybe we actually just want a separate function here Of course, we're going to have another level because we're going to take you All right, so we already have that. So this is something. Oh, but you have to be decoder, so then we're back to su to succeed. <laughs> well, no, wait a minute. Well, this is a very little interpretation, but it's just currying. Well, okay. It is just fortune that that is the first field. That means we have to pass it through here. And then you can do that. Oh, front parenthesis. Ah, uh, yep. That changed. Copy pasta got us. Doesn't appear to be any damage. So I think this does two things. Gets rid of that stuff. Got yep. Even even cold fusion still in place. So we can once again delete this. And I think we can get rid of unknown boon. We do have to have a valid type here, though. Ooh. That, hmm, does that change propagation? Well, no, this, this is the this is like the final step, right? Hmm. Did 
Because you don't have, uh, because uh, the one had a parameter. You don't have a parameter. Any other surprises? So that was the other little trick. So it'd be all of these things. Oh. And what do you do if that doesn't match? What do you do if that doesn't match? Of course, this is basically, I'm, this is kind of like a, a null in my entire process here. But we do have a couple little corner cases. Okay, you, you just have to deal with it. Uh, I think these are all kind of internal to this determinant process. So maybe I could run some maybes through there. <clears throat> Boon type from group goes into a maybe. This is returning a boon type. This does have a god. So once again, we can do the defaulting thing. But interestingly enough, well, okay, so this, this could answer something else. But instead of doing a maybe, I could just pass in what our, what our other option here is. Let's see, so what was our other corner case? Find boon type. You are... You're kind of a dictionary lookup, except we didn't make a dictionary. You don't have a default god. Well, actually, this does have a... I mean, this case would just disappear, right? <clears throat> if we didn't have a, an unknown. But if I can't wash out the maybe there... I'd have to consider, I guess this, this, this would become a nothing and a just, just, just. So that would still kind of have that unknown case. Okay, and that was supposed to create conflicts, but we're, we've run through the process and haven't had any problems.
So we just leave this as... as a duo. I mean, this is just technically the same thing as here. So they're really just turning to boon type. You disappear. This is the one where we wanted to pass a default. handle these cases. Hmm. Right. Because it's accumulating. We no longer have an unknown case. So find boon type goes into you. Right, this is where that was trying to wash out the maybe. Oh, and get the boon type out of the result. What I could do is I could maybe map it. And that's an anything. Oh, actually there was a, shoot. There was an, there was an answer here. For unknown, which becomes nothing. which is whatever that was. And we're doing group. And then all of these have to consider the maybe. A, a missing arrow. Oop, 171. Oh, indeed. It's a module, maybe. Maybe boon type. Oh, yep.
Okay, that's still there. Everything else is looking pretty good. All right, so that got rid of the unknown type. Nope, that's the compiler. Oh, and we were doing some other stuff in Boonshard, weren't we? All right, we constrained layout, and that was just playing around. We have a dead function. All right, so that would make it a little bit more straightforward to have actually different types. Well, I might need to have an intermediate type for the parsing level. Although those would just, we just treat them as singles. And then since it's one pass now, it might be possible to go through and like identify the duos and then do something with them. So right now we're going through and modifying. Okay, so that's mapping over them. All right, trait boon type equals. <clears throat> so we don't expect that to change anything except the duos. I guess the real question then, could that become awkward to deal with? Because like the process of going through and drawing an icon is going to be the same regardless if it's a basic or duo. We're going to kind of handle them in separate passes. I don't know if it's going to be that different, though. I made you. Did I use you? I used you in find boon. It's not exposed. Separate them. And something like that used extract? Are you extract to use that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so right now that's where trait ID traits. Well, it traits the entire collection. Boon. Ah. We were mapping over a, well, set up boons is the derived thing. So that means it's, it's actually happening up here somewhere. 
like layout duo boons. Well, this, this is a list trait. Traits dot duo boons. Layout basic boons. Go of the gods. Basic boons of one particular god. So you're already. Hmm. Trait comes from index map of that, which not necessarily common code. Huh. I almost wonder if they could be separate types. So God data has traits. Duo is a list of trait. <clears throat> Certainly our, our processing pipeline right now is kind of treating them as the same thing. So it would change the pipeline a little bit. So we'd have to have something that um, made one. And I don't think, I don't think this will work. Yeah, trait does not have an is duo field. Do we build one of these up somewhere? Not really. Look. No, no, actually, that's not going to be a conflict, strangely enough. And this is so at the, mo the moment where we're actually recording the two, the two gods. Probably gonna be things that use the like list trait somewhere. But how much is gonna break? So type mismatch. There was our last successful compile. So far nothing outside of here is broken, but it might not have gotten there. Or maybe just stopped at the first error because that was that was the old error. And since we defined as duo, Oh, this is the requirements. 
So that we couldn't do. Well, at the moment we can, because it's, it's only here that that's an issue. Ah, and then this is where all the external stuff is going to break. Now Boonchart has issues. Are they deep issues? Because you're a list trait. Oh, right. Did we, yeah, we explicitly did these. Hey, out uh, duo boon boons. Okay, well, this is specifically a duo boon. So it could be done. I guess it's these things that are particularly bu bugging me about it. Even though they're so nearly the same. By the time we get here, it really should be a duo trait. But we still have to, we also have to consider that possibility. So you care about the two pieces. So is skip one, calculate duo. I guess there's, there's right now there's only two places that care. So certainly they have some common fields. There might be, we might be able to do something that says, okay, take a basic boon and a duo boon and map them down to their common fields. And <clears throat> we use that part. Well, hmm. Actually, I, hmm. One of the complications could be if I ever do a full dynamic layout version, 
then duo boons might just be nice to another node in the network, not an extra special thing. And then you're not going to want to have it be a totally different type. All right, yeah, we did that. <clears throat> All right, so what else were we looking at? Oh, it's, this kind of goes back to just looking at the general data structures of things <clears throat> and what types of things we have to lay out. If we think of these as layout objects, maybe you could say a layout for a duo boon is different from a basic boon. I mean, this is just a point. I feel like I got down a whole line of thinking there, and then we lost it in getting at the unknown. We were looking at, what does it look like? Okay, so you got a whole bunch of fields, which we hope to simplify down to something like that. And indeed, maybe it would kind of become the eventual version of that. Or we've got a line, which is a point point. See, and arcs were center radius angle angle. Actually, we, we had the arc type for that, which I think that wasn't, we didn't import that. It's probably not going to be different, but I don't have to say I have a good intermediate place to put that right now. Unless I did something in geometry that was like, Here's how we're going to consider an arc. Well, here a circle, we're kind of doing circles as point radius. I don't know if I want to get into rigid types. Well, I sort of had a type there, didn't I? Well, it was just a pair, though. For the time being, these are the same. Oh, yeah, other arc. The dangers of overlaid existence. We'd have to deal with the splitting somewhere.
Yeah, so my import is only dealing with single level splits. <clears throat> um, because this is only able to return a single shape right now, so that... We could return multiple and just make it concat map. Does it just be some kind of loop? And then that is, these are always returned two segments. Right, because this had the, um, is this the center of this? Yeah, because arc has that. And then icon point is the, is the middle. So you would actually almost kind of be a list yourself. We could sort we could sort of pre-split that one. I don't know if I want to be kind of carrying around the baggage of the splits. If we're representing the arc like this, oh, uh, where we're going to cache it. So you were like a list of point, basically. Actually, this isn't in here because I had to add a custom type for it. Okay, oh, have you here or I? Uh, I leave you an offsite, even though I forked it. No, okay, it's not collage, it's Elm collage. Which package were you in though? Yeah, list point. Now, there would be a point where we, well, I guess if we have all of these things, we could calculate the the points at that time. And it would be kind of a little implementation leakage, but... Oh, and mm, would, that, would that be where we potentially do continuing the curve? Well, that could be an optimization. Although if we could do that, we would actually have to return multiples in places where it had to split. Hmm. So you're calling arc blah, 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 blah. Could we? Here's an intermediate way to test this. See that uh, da, 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 da 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 does all the math. Oh, I'm I'm gonna need, need a function that just returns the points. Uh,
And then I almost don't need this little arc function. Oh, you don't need the parts. So you're actually at a parsing error right now because we lost our equal sign. Error? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, actually, you should really just be, we should really only expect a single here. Okay, that's the only thing I had to deal with them. Now, we generated, well, you were even an arc as a test, but split arc in particular. Well, no, if we were doing a split arc, that's going to be over wide. Else arc. Oh, we actually have to come back and get these points then. It's like we have it, we just don't necessarily have it. And center was something that came from here. And unless we add auto splitting and stuff into here somewhere, then. Oh, and then that would be the point to split it at if it needed to split. <laughs> Uh, let's all just hack together. Well, is, is this the only place we do a straight up arc? Capital arc. Yes. So curve wants center to scale. And this is a simple curve, so it's end A to end B. Oh no. No, curve is the points. So we have to give you arc. Uh, this is the uh, arc points. Okay, so these smaller arcs. Hey, those those should have actually uh, th those are split. That split. That split. Do I actually have any basic arcs here? <laughs> Oh, 
point yet. Did I forget to split that one? Or maybe the angles came calculated out weird. 1575. Okay, I could maybe see that one, and then if it overdrew. I thought I fixed that, but maybe not. I don't have a good way to tell. Tell the pieces apart. But yeah, so these are multiple pieces, each of which is less than 90 degrees. That method of drawing is basically working. We've definitely got a, a bug over here, though. Okay. Which, I guess I kind of need to fix that. So what was I doing to get to dig into that? I guess this is back where we're assigning this curve because this is saying my angle is wrong. That's abs. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we could we could we could cheese this a little bit. Uh, it'd be easier to read as from angle, even though it's going to subtract it that way. That's the odd angle. Then we do this wraparound calculation. got a mid angle <laughs> now there we go okay so no problems all to spam All right, so we are looking for a large disparity. Oh, we converted these to radians, so it's not going to read out the same. See, is it, I wonder if that's just an option. Scale factor, oop. Selected something there. Hey, midnight. <laughs> I 
Everybody likes wet hair. Angular dimensions, decimal degrees. I don't know what a gradient is. <laughs> Thank you. Forty one. Hmm. So now if we look at these, I don't know if I want to bother getting one of those. Oh. It didn't update. Oh, maybe this is only for labels on the drawing, which maybe we could use measurement tools for that. It's polar. Uh. Oh, do I have to select an angle between things? So I have to do between like that and. And there it is in degrees again. Huh, what's 90? I'm not sure how to, to um, but this is a point basically, so it's kind of hard to, I guess I'd have to add a, a line for the other one. Yep, degrees again. Uh, what about... Maybe it's these? No, it's still degrees. What the heck is this for? <laughs> oh, maybe, oh, maybe an individual drawing has its own. So that was already saved in the drawing? No, that's still there. That's two? Okay, then then there's another thing we need here. Okay, yeah, I can believe that. I don't actually need that. What I need, what I need is here to here, which means I, I basically need a guideline to get the get the angle out. Well, it's going to be a really big swing, right? Huh? I should print those first. Six to three point two to one point. Five point to point two six, that could be it. Although it could also be our big thing. Oh no, that's that's gonna be like to half that's a half to like 
the slight negative. Or maybe a slightly over. That could be it. Five is definitely not six, so that's 300 something if it's in degrees. We have a difference of that much. Oh, because it's printing these out in a weird order, I don't know which one's associated with which. So we have odd angle, work angle, angles, angle, mid angle. Okay, so that is like the block starts with odd to odd. So we were looking at this in terms of angles. from two, two minus from, but we abst it. That's showing up as a huge angle because of the way that subtraction worked. Greater than 180. Angle should not be five because I wrote this when I was still in degree mode. <laughs> okay, those are all the smaller angles now. All right, so I've identified that. Those still seem to be drawing fine. So this is still in a setup where it can only return one thing at a time. So to do you, well, we need this. What have we got? We have arc points plus arc points. I just I need to work this out just by itself. All right. <clears throat> Arc points, same center. We're kind of redoing some work. <clears throat> End A to midpoint and midpoint to end B. <clears throat> and we think the beginning of one is gonna be the overlap of the other. Mind point. Okay. So that's one way to handle the um, 
multiple arcs, and that might be a thing I want to wrap up into a a large angle splitter. At some point. Hmm. I wonder if I'll ever need the the raw angle form. So in principle, this also works for our Duoboon setup. In principle, our plane arc is gone. If we take care of our other, yeah, it's just that one. <clears throat> so we've got icon points. These are all our points, 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 points. We know that this is going to be two pieces. Hmm. Now technically we need to divide this, we would, we would need to divide this into more than just two pieces. So midpoint is, right, we calculated mid angle. Work angle is an initial midpoint. And then it has to do with possible wraparound. We would have to do, let's see, so that's divided by two. Hmm. Does this angle stuff start to become like, well, we have, we've got this as, as points. Now there are, I could start doing like geometry point, blah, 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 blah. Angle, blah, 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 blah. But then you're gonna have things like you rotate points by an angle we're intersecting, intersecting different things, so I don't know if that kind of breakdown works. But if we're going to be doing angle math, we need to have like add angle, subtract angle, um, divide angle. Well, I guess if we needed to break it into end pieces, we would what we just divide the angle and then you'd be using the add angle with wraparound cleanup Because I'm, I'm, and I actually am guessing this is going to become larger than 180. It's technically a little sliver over right now. Because these these points are basically at these points, and that's eventually going to be the larger 
run. So at some point, we do have to deal with that, assuming that that design stays. <clears throat> This is also one of the things, one of, well, one of several issues, a larger one probably being, oh, no, it works, the selection difficulty with these. This one's usually a pain in the butt. So I might need a different rendering method altogether, so I don't know if I want to get too far into this curve thing. Cause like canvas has an actual arc method. So all that stuff has been calculating points cause points what we have. We might eventually want to keep things in angles. There are parts of me that just wants to still pre-calculate the points or something. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, for these things, I actually am calculating the points, and I would have to like back, 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 back up into angles and then convert them back into points on the render side. Now, I guess I could actually have multiple archetypes that are just kind of, well, whatever you've got, give it to me and we'll let the render engine figure it out or, or, or the rendering side figure it out. So we happen to have angles and centers and stuff coming in from the raw data and we happen to have points for the duo arcs. And we happen to be able to convert them all into curves so you could even then have a pass through your data that converted to curves, but I don't know if we're actually really keeping anything from frame to frame, so that's not gonna help that much. Yeah, actually keeping curves around in general is only gonna help if we're able to um, lazy calculate some bits. All right, so what do we have now? We have a thing that takes three points and gives you a curve. And this is doing, well, this would, hmm. I guess there's still be a little bit of scaling to do here. Even if we carried forward the, um, the angle, the angle would be fine. The center would have to be moved. Actually, center to scale, center to scale. Oh, uh, hmm. If I scaled the radius, well, yeah, we're, we're scaling this all afterwards. I think if I scaled the radius first, that would work out. If we scaled the center and the radius, then the angles would all just work out if we passed it down.
So you have the points. It could straight up can turn, turn you into a curve. Or could we record this as like a, a duo arc with the three points? Oh, and this is specifically the curve form of this. The opposites are straight up lines, which that would move over into, into fields of that. I guess this exercise was, can we pre-calculate curves? But other than only making one call for the split things instead of actually having two separate pieces, that's a very, it's not a clear benefit right now. Oh, we did prove this works. Oh, we were trying to see maybe if it's possible to take a curve that needs to be split and pass it that way instead of returning multiple objects. We add that into here. We're looking at this shape. Oh, and the practicality of doing this. So if we have an abstract definition of an arc, <clears throat> So turning it into a curve is a little bit, is very much playing to the limitations of the current rendering method. The same, I'm resistant to the whole convert the points to angles and convert the angles back to point thing still. I guess it's maybe it's pre pre premature optimization, but that still seems like a lot of senseless work. So I just have to have two archetypes for now, but instead of like split and arc, it's arc angle and arc points.
And these don't need other names because they have their own names. And arc point would only come from, well, or it could be arc. Well, now we're back to name collisions. And like duo arc. Of course, now we've got like anonymous things. Would that be well? It's connector is a sh has a shape, and this is this is this is connector shape. So we can't quite use that, but we make another record for that. So you would not have this pre-calculated. We would scale you and scale you on import. Three points is kind of manageable. I mean, like, archetype got up to four. But if you didn't have names for them... Like, which one's the midpoint would get maybe a little ambiguous. And if it's a duo arc, we kind of have that implicitly drawing, drawing to there. I guess that, yeah, that would be an order, but like we had this, well, because this used to be all about an icon. It is not the order we used to have. And I guess... You could turn this into a list point. Then the conversion to curves is, turns out to be a kind of map over, I don't know if we have that function already. Combine two lists. I might be able to do like a map two of one of them drop one to get pairs. Yeah, there's no provided function to, to take a list and do all the pairs. That would be a slightly annoying, well, I could probably case to a three element list and <laughs> just assume that it's an ordered list of points on the arc. That does sort of extend to things that get broken up multiple times if need be. Or at least the data structure does.
Now, I don't know if we actually want this in the same structure. Oh, and actually, here's a here's another kind of way to convert this over. As playing around with this curve thing, we just kind of add more types into here. Oh, well, we have to define rendering for all of them. So we could do that one by one. That way it wouldn't break anything. So that could kind of solve that. I'm thinking for the duos, we might want to do a connector and a point itself. Oh, maybe, hmm. Maybe leaving that information is sort of a transitional thing. Oh, problem. Boone has a shape. This is a kind of shape. Well, let's see. So this this information takes over endpoint, endpoint, and the icon point used for rendering that stuff, which starts to reduce down this structure. Maybe if you started to do that, you could Split these. Maybe what I could do now is get it to return this structure in two different setups. Then you can change the type of the thing that's flowing through there and start removing the, un the unnecessary fields. And that's kind of what I was trying to do by defining the new shape type. The main point of contention here is the duo boons. Uh, is layout duo boon our top level function? Layout duo boons is our top level function. So right now that's getting us duo boons, which we're already using in two different ways. Wants to draw the trait and wants to draw the connector. So at that level, we're fine. We just have to get this to be two different things. Mm. Let's use my layout basic boons. Basic boons. Yeah, you're probably returning a big junk collection of different things too. And I'll lay out basic connectors. Oop. Yeah, we're, you're not using you. We're doing layout and just dumping that straight into display boon connector. So I never did that as an intermediate for whatever reason. Right, because we right now it doesn't use any trait data, so we can just use the layout. Okay. So we would like you, I guess as the intermediate stage is two lists of boons. So right now we're just doing list map.
Oh, because we've got a zero somewhere. Okay, so that's that's wasteful, but it should work. All right, so this is a single boon. So if we're laying on a single boon at a time, that would have to break you into bits. And is that what unzip does, or was that the other way? A list of B into list A, list B. That is exactly unzip. Which, just to, the quick and dirty version of this is ugly. We could specialize these things a little bit for unused information. But that'll work. Uh, hmm. Actually, I could... I might be able to actually turn this into connector and tweak some of the downstream stuff. Would that check out? I mean, obviously this function itself wouldn't check out. It is connector here, right? Yeah. And then you were getting passed into display boon connector. Oh. We're using the same function for that, though. Well, we were, if these could get converted over to connector, that would already be a win. Yep, those are exactly the fields we're taking. So that means layout basic connectors would be a list of connector. And we can dump all this garbage. Okay. Right, we, we haven't actually fixed this. We expected that at the time. I was like, let's see what the other errors are. Of course, now I'd, it would actually be useful to keep this as an original object, but we think there's more changes coming. Okay. So we've actually kind of already hit that point of differentiation. This was just that stuff. We've got this connector type that we want to be simp want to be working on. Uh, and I think Boone doesn't need this stuff. Well, it's 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 basically using icon point, and we might be. Hmm. Hmm. All right, because right now we're calculating all the stuff here, so icon point is like the one thing we're getting out of this. So in theory. This is all garbage. D 
doesn't affect rendering of anything from the looks of it. Which means we can go ahead and just drop those from the structure. I think. Layout basic boons. Oh, so you were actually using that a little bit. But this is, th this is once again, this is garbage. These are the things we're trying to get rid of. All right, so we have split our types. A icon only needs a point. It doesn't need to be icon point per se anymore. This is not an icon point, <laughs> but we were trying to replace this entire thing with the shape type, which has exactly the fields that you need for a, like this is gonna be irrelevant for a line. It's currently only relevant for split arcs as a shape. Now I guess if it's a connector, and A and B is still sort of relevant, but, 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 we're trying to maybe move towards an angle angle arc representation. So if we can move everything to the shape field, then we can just go through and kind of wipe out the rest. And we said we could do that by gradually introducing new types and then flipping things over. So we don't need to worry about this case. And actually we shouldn't need to worry about, well, oh, we have, we have our other type of point. Uh, let's just remove that and see if it, see if it goes away. Well, there's, there's gonna be a thing that renders it. Which was a no-op because it wasn't supposed to exist. <laughs> Oh, we use that as a punt. Well, right now line works. And me, hmm. These are things that should never exist, and we proved that you could actually separate these types. But I'm still just, I just have that fear that we're gonna, at some point, have to handle, like, some of the requirements processing or management of these, or if we get into dynamic layouts, we're, we're gonna kind of just handle general traits, regardless of if they're dual or single. So, if we add that, it's a layout line uh, all right, so we blew out end A and B. These don't have aliases, so they're fine. You ended up being very uncomplicated. <laughs> I 
Oh, now we've duplicated another line. Now we're not generating other lines anywhere. Okay, I have to be getting you at least from opposite, display opposite. Wait, you're a straight up segment. No, this thing's dead. You have to be a line, right? I guess I had something else in my search. Okay, calculate opposite. <clears throat> oh, you're another line. Let's come back and replace it later, but oh well. Okay, those are fine. It's a layout dot line. Okay, we're doing a little bit of work here. still have straight lines here. Mm. Calculate adjacent. Oh! Yeah, you weren't the point before. But there's actually kind of no connector here. At least not right now. It might eventually between but be between some points. Oh, did I end up deciding not to display these? So I calculate adjacent, I give it a line. And it's just a line. Where did I decide not to draw this? Oh, because I just put icon point, icon point, icon point. <laughs> I calculated them, I decided not to draw them. Maybe we do have to have a punt. An invisible connector? Which was basically point was actually technically a invisible thing. And that was just an empty group. All right, line, line, line. Yep, no, you're up there, that line. OK, 
Okay, now. You swap right in. All right, so. I guess this is the bigger change. So if that type exists, we have to have a renderer for it. Oh, was my was my archetype? Oh no, this is this is center radius. That might not have any name collisions. Well, duo archetype, I might want to rename some things to avoid collisions. Oh, I might want to punt this to a function. Because that got, this stuff got a little hairy. Now, I happen to have a structure for this. Uh, well, that's going to be that part. This is, so that can do, and then that could actually take it through here. And in fact, this is where we'd eventually have to do variable splitting and things. Okay, so there's arc points, there's arc. We would basically do a path, I guess. I guess this is never, mm, this is this is our arc function, so I need, need a better name for this. And then you maybe would do center radius from angle to angle. And this would take over a bunch of stuff from layout.arc. But you were you were doing all this messy stuff in line, whereas my other thing I was like, eh, do I really want to do that in line? This event needs to be a variable number split. All right, so midpoint. Oh, this these should have been pre-scaled by the layout import. So the angles should be fine. Or they they shouldn't need to be scaled. Now this is going to be, let's see, this is what? This should be able to directly do arcs. Let's see, is this, oh, is this making a path? Or is this making a collage?
Hey Stormy, how's it going? I saw something pop up when you came on. I didn't notice what it was though. Okay, so if I do this cubic curve trick, then I could return this as a single path. So points, 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 points. Oh, we had some more scaling to do, we were doing down here. And I guess we could make these a little bit more regular by doing this. Okay, so that makes you a path. Our arc, arc info, we need path we can trace. Why is that? Because uh, you lost your arrow. That's why that's confusing. And once again, I duplicated. Body is a record on other arcs. Uh, oh, did I not? Oh, I did. I did leave that. Now, nothing generates these. This is essentially only going to be for layout.arc because it's got angles. So you might not need midpoint. You don't need to calculate the ends. You don't need, you don't need midpoint, you don't need mid angle because you don't need to do anything with angles. I just need to return a shape though. Oh, and a shape. But we're trying to ignore these fields. <laughs> they should technically be scale, but this rendering method won't care. And we're not gonna have any angles, so you're just going to be a, a arc with a Oh, this is the scaling though. And a radius, and I have to figure out what scale does. <laughs> so scale did a, oh. Now this is all point stuff. So 
so that's going to get somewhere. We eventually, I think I eventually want to do that around stuff in the file itself. See, it might not might not like that. <laughs> oh, you're not an arc. You're a um, other arc. It is no longer red, but they're still rendering just fine. So our other one would be in calcul calculate duo would go down to either of these are doing calculate arc with different parameters. No, we're, we're just not even using this. So actually that's all of other arc, uh, which it should mean the end of that version of arc. All right, uh, which I think we just wait, we want to turn that into just arc. We already got an arc here. Okay, and then, yeah, we still use plain, plain lowercase. Oh, I got it set up so it doesn't it doesn't care about sensitivity unless you use some mixed case. But there's no mixed case to use here. Okay, all that's still there. Then we would add rendering for you, which is kind of arc from points. Now that's that went center and a I can, oh. Okay, that's a center, oh. Right. This still had the center point, which means this still has to have the center point. We haven't used it yet, so that's not going to be a big issue. Now we're running into the problem that we don't have a, a definition for this.
I mean, there's still arc info. Um, so before we hit, oh, here's the name collisions. So as long as this stuff is in context up here, we can't easily bust it out. Now, I think I took that symbol out of relevance. Okay, so that's compilable. That's the rendering. Okay, so we generate it here. We have all of our points. This is just gonna turn to big old thing. I see you, we, you, we kept the end from elsewhere. And if all that worked, Then we shouldn't actually be using like any of the stuff, the other fields in Boon Connector. We're certainly not using it in here. I guess we're kind of done with that. I think I might be using it in Curve still, which Curve itself is, was an experiment that, have we completely stopped that? We've completely stopped that. So that's not using that stuff. Calculate arc. Uh, we're using that, which we end up using. Mm, so we're eventually gonna have to use that elsewhere. So we're using the stuff from connector to get our, oh, maybe this eventually needs to return the information in a more hospitable format. <clears throat> Laying out basic connectors. Uh, so actually you. It wouldn't really matter what we put here. Lay out basic boons. This is the boon, so that matters. Here. That's generating a connector, it's putting it into a connector. But if nothing's using that, that's a boon icon point, right? Yeah, that takes a boon. That's building a see, adjacent connector, which actually the points don't matter at all here. Uh, oh, no, because except that this is the thing that we use to get the boon position. 
opposite. Yeah, we're using that to calculate the icon position eventually, but the end A, end B. So end A and end B might be the easier things to wash out of this. Uh, calculate adjacent. Yeah, you're invisible, so you could... Uh, no, we're using icon points, so we still kind of need this for the, for the moment, but we don't have to return it. Uh, calculate opposite. You're also using that to determine your intermediate point and it turns it, it turns in a line calculate arc we're actually passing on the endpoints farther down but we don't need them here this is calculating the ends from the angles Ah, yep, 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 yep. This garbage. Okay, duos are in place. Those are in place. Did I fully remove, um, what was it, split arc? Yeah. All right, so connector right now is a point in a shape where the shape is the only thing we're really using for connector purposes. Mm, all right, can I, let's, we rename you. Well, eh, that is kind of the icon point we're getting out of there. I guess maybe Boone. It would just be where it is. All right, so that's the line. That's an arc. That's a boon. I was using it. That is a connector, so it's still still the thing. That's a connector, so it's still that thing. It's a connector. Oh, it's gonna kinda end up being well for for its purpose it's still the icon point. Now we can say we, we kinda just reviewed those. Oh, uh what's left for icon point? So we're defining it. This is basic connectors which do not care about that. They're not defining icons. Duo boons, we need to pass it through somewhere. But it doesn't need to go into the connector. It just needs to go into here. Oh, so some of this stuff that's doing connect, well, it could do a shape, except. We need to pass through the that point somewhere. <clears throat> this could kind of turn into a tuple, maybe.
So you don't care. So you could be a list of shape. Now, where does that go into drawing? Layout basic connector, you go straight into display boon connector, which is the same that we use for both. Duo connectors, it comes out of layout duo boons, which is a list connector. So you take that stuff and unzip it. So since we don't care, we only want the connector out of this. You're a connector shape, though. And if you're a connector shape, which maybe this can eventually can become just a connector now. Oh, you um, you were a structure that had a shape. I don't. Can we do that? <laughs> oh no, actually. Calculate duo. You were a connector. Did I pull out a, I was calling, maybe I was inappropriately calling that shape. <laughs> Is that, could it just been a pass through by now? Huh. And then display boon connector, which may be a little bit, a little bit in, inappropriate now, or inaccurate. Which was already was filtered down to shape. Layout basic connectors. All right, so don't care about you. Don't care about you. Everything still seems to be in place. Okay, you're still in Calculate Duo. Right, up to a point, we are still using that. But this could, this could be a tuple now. Only we don't have a convenient type name for that. Oh, we, we still have to return for, for, for the type. And that comes down to what these things return. Skip one, depends on calculate arc, calculate opposite, but but that still changes this type. Which does show up an unfortunate number of times. Connector was kinda hap kinda handy there.
that might remove the need for that. Okay. Now we can kind of flip that around. Okay, we nuked something in our manual version. I guess it's possible we'll end up with more data. Like we might have to show highlights of the the duo boons. We'll eventually want to show them in some sort of highlighted state. This, and then, er, yeah, so then actually, that this would still be a description of the shape. Connect door. I'm not sure how that's going to work in, but that would actually be end up being the argument. Hmm. Well, okay, so this doesn't need to exist now. Connect door might need to come back, but we have to figure out where it comes back. Now I did end up figuring out like the icon highlighting from outside information. And figuring out uh, network highlighting is one of the things we've been wanting to work on. But we're kind of cramming everything into our old duo boon model. So that rewrites all of our graphical stuff. What well, separates the boon icons from the connectors? I guess there's the major element of that. Yeah, all on the chart. Oh, you know what? We could filter out the invisible ones. I guess there's only going to be the eight adjacent ones right now. Separate, um, what is it? Drawing structures for boons and connectors. Oh, but associating things with highlight information is, is that gonna work in with associating God data with traits? Because you kind of need some of that information.
Well, that's probably going to be a major task in and of itself. And reducing down all this drawing data structure stuff was certainly a major, kind of kind of a big thing. So that's probably just a good breaking point. Not sure I'll be working on this again. The major scheduled times for coding are Monday and Saturday morning. If I continue feeling like it, I might want to tackle that in more evenings. Or I might want to be doing more, somewhere below zero if I'm feeling a little bit more foggy. Let's see if, well, I don't, I don't actually, I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of people that I know coding at night. Let's see. But thanks for watching. Thanks to Remy Ice Leopard, Leopard, Leopard for a rating and support from all of the subscribers. Oh. I see Kanji Coder is on quite a lot. He works on all kinds of things from CAD to. Uh, good night to he's one of those people who has his his kind of I think he's kind of been coding in his own bubble for a while so he kind of innovates and does his own thing that's not the same thing everybody else does right now it says well huh one thing said in editor command prompt the other one's this the, now it says don't feel like working spot checking. So I'm not sure what that means. But for looking for a place cool to hang out, Kanji Coders usually usually doing some interesting stuff. And that's someplace cool to hang out. Thanks for hanging out with me. Good night and until next time.